Hi everyone, welcome to Story Time, and today we're going to read Great and Small by Alicia McKinnon and Kona Bracken. And I'm Anusha, and I'm very excited for this story. For a tiny unicorn, Eunice has big dreams. She really wants to compete in the great unicorn games. But even with all the effort and practice she can muster, she's just no competition for all these able-bodied athletes. That's when the most wonderful idea turns into a truly great reality. A confirmation of our unique abilities, great and small, celebrates that which unifies us our glorious diversity. Okay, let's do this, guys. Great and small. Oh, look at our cute little Eunice and her friends. With all my love for Peter, Connor, and especially Kate, who inspired this story, AM. For Claire, always small but always great. CP. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's do this. Ooh, Eunice was tiny, but her dreams were big. She had her heart set on entering the great unicorn games and winning a ribbon. <sighs> She's dreaming. She loved sports more than anything. Even though she was dreadful at long jump, disastrous at high jump, and positively dangerous as discuss. Ah! On sign up day, the you other unicorns were surprised to see Eunice. None of them thought to help her when she couldn't reach the high non seat. Even on Tippy Who. Don't give up, Eunice, said her friends. Maybe we can do it together. So Eunice held up the slot, who held up the tortoise, who held up the fish. Oh! Eunice started training for the games day and night with the help of her loyal friends. That's it, Eunice, you can do it. <laughs> she jumped, she ran, she spun until she was ready. On the day of the Great Unicorn Games, the stadium rippled with excitement. Flags waved, trumpets sounded, the crowd roared. Eunice's little legs trembled. I can do this, she whispered to herself. I just, I just need to be brave. Eunice fell short in the long jump, hit a new low in the high jump, and caused a commotion in the discus. But she gave it everything she had. By now, the other unicorns were impressed by Eunice's courage. They all wished her luck for the final event of the games. This was Eunice's last chance. She might be little, but her heart was big. Maybe, just maybe, she would win and go home with a ribbon. She's very determination. Look at her determination. She can do it. But Eunice came in last. Again. Don't feel bad, Eunice, said the slot. I couldn't throw a discus either. I could never high jump, long jump, or any kind of jump, said the tortoise. And I could never win a running race, said the fish. That 
gave Eunice an idea. But you could win a swimming race, she said. Eunice and her friends quickly got to work. The great and small games would be for the whole forest. Everyone was welcome to compete, no matter how big or small, fast or slow. <laughs> On the day of the great and small games, the stadium rippled with a new kind of excitement. Eunice beamed with pride. Her dream had become so much bigger than winning a ribbon. There were all kinds of events for all kinds of creatures. Everyone had a chance to sign. The swimmers made quite a splash. The nut and spoon race was won by a whisker. And the marathon was a three-way tie. But the crowd was, well, the crowd favorite was the limbo. <laughs> Where it was great to be small. <laughs> And there they are, ta-ta-da! <laughs> Is that a chameleon? He won first! And then Mr. Baber second, and guess what? Eunice, yay! <laughs> Aww, look at that. They're all there, and here, oh, oh, Mr. Bug, a little bug, a second, Mr. Bug. And then, look at them, they all won prizes. So cute, they're all winners. That is one of the most beautiful story I've ever read. Great and small. A confirmation of our unique abilities, great and small, celebrates that which uni unifies us, our glorious diversity.